Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this week's Pick a Card reading. So the reading for this week is essentially going to be covering the first week of August 2023. So it's roughly from July 31st to about August 7th, 2023. Before we get into the Pick a Card, I just wanted to let everybody know that my deck is going to be half off for the entire month of August. So it's going to be $27.50 with free shipping within the United States. So head on over to my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing my second edition Color Goddess casting cards. So let's get into the pick a card. Which card are you drawn to right now? Is it card number one, card number two, or card number three? Once you've made your choice, you can look below at the timestamps and fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you have a fantastic week. Hi, group one, how are you? So let's see what your first oracle card is for this week. You have Epiphany and it says, Seek Clarity. I like to show the imagery as well because for some of you it might spark an idea of the meaning behind the card. It might spark your intuition. So your first card is Epiphany. Let's take a look at a second oracle card for you, group one, from my deck. And see what else I can tell you about your week, the first week of August. I like this one. And it is Cerulean, relaxation, sleep, and surrender. This is affiliated with the sign of Sagittarius. And it's kind of telling you that you might need to rest this week. You might need to make sure you get really good sleep this week. It's going to be very important for you, okay? Also, I love how these shades of blue, the bluish purple and the blue, the cerulean blue are standing out for you so far. So I would say try to incorporate that color into your wardrobe this week. Group one. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what I can tell you specifically or maybe more specifically about your week. This is the Cosmic Tarot, an oldie but a goodie. All right, group one, we have the King of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Sun, Princess of Swords and the Five of Swords. All right, Group One, let's see what this is all about. King of Wands, ooh, Two of Cups. So this could mean there is romance in store for you this week, especially the first few days of August. You might be the King of Wands or a partner or someone in your life or coming into your life might be the King of Wands or um, depict some qualities of the King of Wands. Sometimes this person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But even if you don't know their sign, um, they're, they're very sociable, likable, adventurous, a people person, very popular, uh, a good host or hostess, and just overall very adventurous. And here we have the Two of Cups, which is a connection with this person or with another person if this is you. So a little bit of romance here at the beginning of the week. We have the seven, we have the sun, oh my gosh, and the lovers. This is all about romance. I mean, there is joy within your family, your soul family. Seven of cups can mean lots of choices or lots of opportunities coming your way. And then of course the lovers is that kind of chemical attraction, right? It's the physical aspect of a relationship or love. So I would say, group one, there is a lot of romantic feelings happening for you for most of the week. You may be the princess of swords. Um, you might be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But let's see what else we can get with her and the five of swords. So we have the devil, a little bit of a warning or maybe something to overcome, which it will be overcome. Okay, so... If you've been feeling defeated, doesn't really matter if you're Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini or not. This is you. If you've been feeling defeated, 
and negative as depicted by the devil card, the ace is telling you it will be overcome. Your doubts will be overcome. Your choices will be clear. You'll be making good decisions. You will be feeling mentally balanced and stable and using your wisdom in some way. But definitely overcoming um, a propensity for negative thinking, you know, being pessimistic, having fear take over or anxiety or worry or depression or whatever. There's, there's a sense of conquering that bad mental stuff this week, group one. So have no fear. Things look really, really good. So let's see. Let's draw a final card for you. Let's draw from the Chakra Love deck and see what else I can tell you to wrap up your reading. All right, I like this one for you. And it is, I think it says Howlite. Right there, I think it says Howlite. Meditation, to see more clearly, close your eyes. All right. So it's a good week to meditate, to relax, to surrender. I feel for you, maybe it's kind of saying um, it's a good week to surrender to love, to surrender to your emotions. And mentally, you're going to be very clear. Okay, emotionally blissful. And then we have interesting. Seek clarity and an epiphany was your first card. And that's kind of how you're going to be wrapping up the week is having an epiphany clear mind, a clear decision, and clarity. So I love how it's all kind of tying in here. Don't forget to incorporate the cerulean blue and a little bit of purple or periwinkle color as well for you, group one. I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Bye. Hello, group two. How are you? So let's see what your first oracle card is for this week. You have legends. Learn from those who inspire you. And take a look at the imagery here. Maybe something will spark your curiosity or your intuition in this lovely imagery by Josephine Wall. Okay. So learning from others who inspire you is a theme for you this week. And let's draw one card from my deck. Actually, I'm going to give it a regular shuffle here. Okay, I like this one for you, group two. It is Tawny Goddess with a message of a conflict, physicality, and victory. It's a card of overcoming. It's a card of power. It's a card of fire and movement and overcoming an obstacle. It's a card of being victorious over an enemy, even if that en enemy is a part of yourself, you know, negative self-talk, etc. cetera. Um, just know that whatever's thrown your way this week, if you stay strong, you have faith and courage, you'll overcome it, all right? So let's dive into the tarot. Let's see what else I can tell you. But so far, we've got the green really showing through. Tawny as well, but green is really coming through strong. And uh, that's the color of the heart chakra. It's the color of healing. So you could be maybe healing your heart chakra this week. It's a car. It's a color of um, compassion. Okay, we have judgment, justice, four of coins, princess of cups. And the Magician. All right. Let's take a look. Judgment. So there are two people involved in something. Now, sometimes when I get judgment next to justice, it means something to do with the judicial system. Um, a, a pending case, a court case, a lawsuit, uh, filing something. I mean... Anything to do with that, contracts, documents, agreements, legalities. And it looks like there are two people involved. A Prince of Swords here, which could be an Aquarius. 
and then the Queen of Cups, which could be, well, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So one of them might be you, one of them might be someone else. But maybe you are assisting another person in figuring all of this out, or they're assisting you, or maybe you're partnering with someone. Maybe this is you and a lawyer and a court case or something like that, okay? And then following that, we do have the Four of Coins with the Tower and the Four of Swords. So what this looks like to me is whatever this is, it's not quite over. There's something that's going to be dissatisfactory for you. This is also a lot of Capricorn energy there. So I would say go to a professional. Um, follow the professional's advice. Let's say if this is a lawyer, follow their advice. Give it a rest. Let it go for now. Nothing's going to be solved right now, okay? Um, if it is a court thing. If it's something else, then that kind of means that there is a warning of maybe something going wrong, and in that case, you do need to follow someone's advice, someone who knows about money, finances, or health. So it could be a medical professional, if this decision has to do with something physical or medical um, or biological, or it could have something to do with your money, all right? So it's this person, this advice is going to kind of keep everything from going wrong or something from going wrong and then just kind of sit on the situation for now let it go for the rest of the week okay all right we have princess of cups let's see what that's about that devil came up again and the ace of swords all right i love this emotionally you are overcoming your demons you're slaying your demons if you've been very sad or worried or anxious or depressed or angry anything that's imbalanced in your emotional body would be you know indicated by the devil and the ace is basically slaying it it's overcoming it it's a new beginning it's a fresh new start we do have the magician here as well towards the end of this week and we have the star on top of that that i just drew so this is kind of a wish coming true in regards to your work um or your business if you have your own business and the message is that you have all the tools with you to achieve this goal, to make this wish come true. You have everything you need within you and around you to make this wish come true. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. You probably know what it is right now as I'm speaking, but it is going to be different for all of you. I feel like for most of you, it does have to do with work or a business, but some of you, it might be, might have to do with your health, a health goal or something like that, especially with some of these other cards could mean health. Some of you might mean your money. You're worried, you've been worried about money and you're very clear on what you need to do here. You're getting advice and you have all the tools you need to survive, to succeed. All right, let's draw you a final card from the Chakra Love deck. So let's see, group two. I do like this one. Looks like it's multicolored. And I'm not sure what it says. I don't have my reading glasses on, but that's the kind of stone. Or maybe it says harmony. Maybe it does say harmony. Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. Oh, green jasper, turquoise, and labradorite are your stones. So I would say green jasper more than anything because of that green. And now we have pink. Pink and green are that heart chakra. So green jasper would be your stone for this week. Green is your color. Also tawny. It's going to lend you some of that lion or lioness strength, courage, energy. Kind of tap into that when you're faced with uh, decisions. All right, group two, I hope this helps you and have a great week. Bye. Hello, group three. How are you? So let's see what your first oracle card is for this week. For you, we have go with the flow, let things happen. And look at the imagery. What do you see? Is it sparking anything for you intuitively or creatively? So obviously this is all about going with the flow of things that happen this week. And let's draw you a card from my deck as well. And see what we get. What else can I tell you? What else do you need to know? All 
All right, I like this one. And it is Sky Goddess, Faith, Flight, and Limitlessness. This is just to remind you that you have limitless potential and it might be time to take flight, have faith, maybe take a risk, take a chance and go for it, okay? And look at these lovely blues. Blue, this light blue, sky blue, definitely your color this week, group three. So incorporate this into your wardrobe. You know, wear clothing or jewelry that's this color. Um, this is Laramar, one of my favorite stones. It's that lovely sky blue kind of modeled in with, with whites. Um, yeah, utilize that this week. And we're going to go into the tarot next. So, so far we already have kind of a, a free flowing type of energy. Very good, pleasant energy coming in for you, group three. With the air energy and water energy. And that sense of flow. And maybe things will be unfolding as, sh as they should be. Okay, we have strength the tower, two of cups, the hierophant, and the four. Okay. So I will say right off the bat, before I draw extra cards like I always do, now for some of you, this would be your guides, etc., wanting to lend you strength because you might be going through some kind of a breakup or a divorce, all right? Um, and there is inevitable sadness with this, but they are lending you strength, okay? And they, with these cards up here, it means they're probably going to make the process as easy as possible, okay? So have faith. But let's see what else we can get from these cards, because that might not be relevant for some of you, so let's see what else we can get. All right, three of wands. There's a sense of balance and courage and strength coming from those cards. It's kind of preparing you for whatever this tower moment might be, all right? Um, it can be a sense of loss. It's a sense of destruction. It's something kind of unexpected. I'm actually going to draw one more here. Yeah, again, with the romance, there's, some, there's something that could be going wrong with a relationship. Some of you might be feeling very nostalgic over someone from your past that uh, you thought you got over. And maybe their memory is kind of creeping back in and it's causing you distress. That's a possibility as well. Nostalgia is the Six of Cups. That's a nostalgia card. Okay. So for some of you, maybe you've recently already gone through a breakup and this might be someone from your past coming back into your life as a romantic interest with that two of cups. I would not rule that out. All right, let's see what these last two have to do with. The two of cups is essentially about a connection between two people, usually a romantic connection with this particular deck. All right, we've got two of wands. And the Empress, yes, you are in charge of your life. Whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. There's this Empress-Emperor energy. The Two of Wands, feeling very accomplished and ready for your next task, ready for the next step. Whatever life is going to throw you, you are prepared, which is why the first card was Strength, right? So you are kind of going with the flow this week. Have faith that you will have the strength to get through whatever's thrown at you, okay? Let's draw a few more cards from this tarot deck and see what else I can tell you. What else does group three need to know? Yeah, lots of opportunities coming your way around the corner here towards the end of the week going into the rest of August. I feel like there's lots of changes, but lots of opportunities coming your way. Um, take your time. Kind of go with the flow. Don't rush into anything. The overall energy for you is to not rush into anything. Don't rush into making any decisions or any major changes. Whatever comes your way, don't, maybe you don't want to respond abruptly. 
for example, if it's a conflict with someone, you don't want to like snap back at them right away. You want to kind of take a step back, back, take a deep breath, and then respond to that situation, all right? Because of the first two cards, and a lot of this blue-green is really showing out, is really standing out for me. It's, um, it's definitely your color for this week. So just kind of, you want to keep it easy and light, group three. Easy and light energy. Let's draw you a final card from the Chakra Love deck. All right. I do like this, and it could be Larimar again. Let's see. And, of course, without my glasses, I cannot read it. But there it is. Let me know in the comments what it says. I cannot read it at all. But the message is calmness. To calm your monkey mind, do not feed the animal. There you go. Do not feed the animal. All right. What else could this be? Appetite? I really wish I could read that. Sorry about that, but here it is on your screen. Hopefully you can take a snapshot and let me know in the comments what it is but it does say crown chakra it is that purple color of the crown chakra yes do not feed the animal do not fall do not get pulled into drama keep it light keep it flowy keep it airy this week and you will get through whatever all right group three i hope this helps you have a great week